In this problem, we are asked to find the period in the location of the asymptotes and graph two cycles of the function y is equal to the cosecant of x minus pi over 2. In order to graph this, we will look first at its reciprocal function, or the sine of x minus pi over 2. We will see that the amplitude of this function sine of x minus pi over 2 is equal to 1. That v is equal to also to 1, therefore our period, which is given by 2 pi over b, is 2 pi units. Finally, we can look at our phase shift, and our phase shift is given by the opposite of c over b, or pi over 2 divided by 1, which is pi over 2. We can look at our one cycle interval for sine as it ranges between 0 and 2 pi. Adding pi over 2 to both sides, we can see that one full cycle is indeed 2 pi units and ranges from a positive pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2. We are now ready to sketch two cycles of the sine function and then for use our reciprocal identity to sketch our original function. As we sketch it, I made two cycles of my sine, the first one in that one cycle interval from pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2, and then went 2 pi units in the negative direction to get my second cycle to be between negative 3 pi over 2 and pi over 2. I am ready to sketch my one cycle interval for my sine function. I know my sine function will take on its average value, or in this case its x-intercept at the start and stop of its interval, and then halfway between, so at all odd multiples of pi over 2. We know that since a is equal to 1, sine will reach its maximum value halfway between, or at pi, and its minimum value halfway between 3 pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2, which is 4 pi over 2 sketching one full cycle of our sine function. We can continue on in this process. We would know that on the interval between pi over 2 and negative 3 pi over 2, sine will take on its x-intercepts at the start and stop, and then again halfway between. Then it would hit its minimum value at x equal to 0, and its maximum value at x equal to negative pi. We can now sketch two cycles of our sine function. We are now ready to sketch the cosecant of x minus pi over 2. We will recognize that every x-intercept, or when the sine takes on the value of 0, I will have a vertical asymptote. This is the case because cosecant is 1 over the sine of x minus pi over 2. We can see that this happens at every multiple of odd multiple of pi over 2, or take pi over 2 and add pi units to it. For any integer n, we are now ready to sketch the graph of the cosecant of x minus pi over 2 by looking at the reciprocal property.